Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Pinney. Today we're going to learn about insertional Achilles tendonitis, which is a common condition that affects the Achilles and the heel area. Insertional Achilles tendonitis is a condition characterized by pain and swelling where the Achilles tendon inserts into the heel bone. Symptoms of insertional Achilles tendonitis tend to come on gradually over time. The condition is more common in middle-aged individuals who are a bit overweight, although it can also occur in long-distance runners. Patients with insertional Achilles tendonitis may walk with a limp, and their symptoms are often aggravated by increasing their activity level. Why does it occur? Insertional Achilles tendonitis develops over time because loading through the Achilles with standing and walking leads to microscopic injury and resulting scarring right where the Achilles tendon attaches to the heel bone. In patients with insertional Achilles tendonitis, there is often a prominent part of the heel bone that rubs up against the Achilles tendon called a Haglund's deformity. It's also common to develop a painful bursitis. This is an inflamed fluid-filled sac that forms between the Achilles tendon and the prominent heel bone. How is insertional Achilles tendonitis treated? Many patients with insertional Achilles tendonitis can achieve pain control and relief of symptoms with conservative treatment. However, it often takes 8 to 12 weeks to achieve good results from a successful conservative treatment program. The initial phase of conservative treatment is aimed at settling the symptoms and often includes restricting activities by immobilizing the foot in a boot or a cast. A heel lift is added to help protect and offload the Achilles. Once the symptoms have settled somewhat, a course of physical therapy is started. This is combined with continued use of a heel lift in the patient's shoe. Weight loss is also very helpful as this will decrease the load going through the tendon. Anti-inflammatory medications may also help control symptoms in the short term. After successful conservative treatment, it is important to continue some of the ongoing maintenance as symptoms of insertional Achilles tendonitis do have a tendency to recur. Let's talk about surgical treatment of insertional Achilles tendonitis. While most patients with insertional Achilles tendonitis will see considerable improvement with conservative treatment, there is a group of patients that will continue to be significantly symptomatic and these patients may benefit from surgery. Surgically cleaning out the scar tissue around the Achilles tendon and removing the associated bony prominence can be helpful. The surgery often involves partially detaching the Achilles and then repairing it. It's often also necessary to transfer a nearby tendon into the heel bone to help perform some of the work that the calf muscle in the Achilles tendon would normally do. Surgery for insertional Achilles tendonitis can work very well all the recovery is quite prolonged. There's often a six week period where the patient is non-weight bearing and the foot needs to be immobilized in a cast just to allow the surgical repair to heal. This is followed by an extensive period of rehabilitation over a number of months to gradually regain strength and balance. Patients often keep improving for a year or more after this type of surgery. In summary, Insertional Achilles tendonitis is a painful condition characterized by swelling and discomfort where the Achilles tendon attaches into the heel bone. It is common in middle-aged patients, particularly those who may be a bit overweight. Symptoms are often helped or resolved with conservative treatment, although some patients may need surgery to obtain optimal results. I hope that you found this review of insertional Achilles tendonitis helpful. For more information on this condition, Click on the link below. Wishing you good foot health, I'm Dr. Steve Penny.